Now that I've linked to jQuery, I know that I have jQuery functionality available to me. So uh, I need to start writing some, I guess, stuff to happen, some, some JavaScript, some jQuery calls and all that stuff. So essentially, in order for me to do that, I need to link to another file that I could actually edit. Obviously, I I'm unable to edit, nor would I want to, uh, put any any stuff that I have that, that I'm writing specific to my page inside of my jQuery file. So if you ever instead of using the CDN you download the jQuery for yourself you never want to put your stuff inside of that jQuery, right? You want to keep that separate because that's something uh, that's your actual framework. You could almost consider it like your like your operating system, like Windows or Mac OS, you know, it's like this is jQuery is the OS of your page of sorts, you know. So you're going to want to create a new jQuery file where you're going to put in your your scripts. And that's, you know, so let's actually start that by creating a new file and we'll call it, a, we're going to make it a JavaScript file. Now, what's a JavaScript file? It's plain document that has an extension .js that the server understands as a JavaScript uh, file and it'll treat it accordingly. So I'm going to create here dot, uh, a JavaScript file, new document, and I'm not even going to write anything just yet. I'm going to save it. So obviously, you know, every, you know, I harp on keeping things organized and one of the ways is uh, keeping your folder structure organized. So what I'm going to do is Here's my dictionary list file. Oops, I don't want definitely don't want to save it as that. Here's my dictionary list file, but I'm going to create a new folder in there. I'm going to call it scripts. And I'm going to name this one script.js. Um I don't even actually need this the script. Uh, Dreamweaver should append that for me. So I'll just name it script, save as. And there we go. Oh, look at that. Jake it did not save it for me with that extension. That's uh that's too bad. Yeah, I'm going to need to make sure that this extension is .js so, so there's no uh, questions about that. There we go. Because that actually lets the server know it's a JavaScript file. Um, let me open it back up in Dreamweaver to make sure that it's good. Here we go. There we go, JavaScript document. Now, um, well, this has nothing in it, and this is actually not even yet linked to our main page, and that's where I'm going to go back. Um, here we are, and I'm going to use the same syntax that I used to, to um, link to this jQuery file on Google stuff, except since this one's on my, uh, on my local computer, I mean, I'm sorry, it's going to be on the same server when I upload it to... Uh, my web my web host uh, so I'm gonna make sure that my my link is correct so I've copied and then pasted this exact you uh, this exact link structure except what I need to change is this source part over here right because this is the part that's gonna change and where's where's my file well my my main HTML file is sitting there at the root and then there's a uh, folder called scripts and that's where I'm gonna put and mind you I didn't put any forward slash before scripts because that means it's at the root of the server I just put scripts which is going from that folder into the scripts folder forward slash script dot js and let's see actually one way to make sure that it's working is I could preview in my browser then if I click the link if I click on the source view and I click this there we go. So it is going to the right place. So now let me start by actually creating a script or creating a, a function in this script file that simply lets me know uh, JavaScript is or jQuery specifically is working. Now you're going to see this example everywhere when you're learning uh, jQuery and actually there right on the jQuery website there is um, their article, How jQuery Works. And there you'll actually see the code that I'm going to use, which is basically when you're starting a jQuery document, 
uh, like a script that's about to execute on your computer, you always start with this function over here. Dollar sign, uh, bracket, uh, document, you know, okay, whatever, you, you see it. Basically, oh, well, first it's important to know that JavaScript only starts, is only executed on the computer once everything's downloaded. So if you think of the process of the user visiting your page, they click on your page and all the assets are being downloaded to their computer, you know, like the graphics, the content, all that stuff. Only after everything's downloaded will any JavaScript execute. And this function is basically saying just that. When the document is ready, execute function. And as we go on, you're going to see that, that this is like the start of your document and this is the end of it. So uh, I am going to just, eh, maybe I'll just do it. I'll just type it in manually. But yeah, no, actually, no, that's exactly what I won't do. I'm just going to copy and paste this right in here. So I'm going to copy and paste that. This code here, obviously this forward slash forward slash is a comment. As you see, it's grayed out in Dreamweaver. And I'm going to use the good old alert comment and it's going to tell me this alert comment is going to you see actually look I already have a uh, that hinting uh, Dreamweaver's hinting and I'm going to write an alert little box is going to tell me that it works so I'll start my alert with a single quote and go jQuery is on close it and end it with a semicolon and since this is my ending bracket over here, I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to put right here, put a comment, um, ends jQuery. Uh, your code could get hairy uh, as you put more and more stuff. So make sure you put a good amount of commenting. And hopefully, if I did everything right, once I preview this thing, it's going to give me a little message. Let's see. All right. So now I know that it's not working. So what is going on? Uh, so, okay, I know my scripts folder is working. Is there, hmm, trying to see what the story is. Document, function, I mean, what, what could happen here? I just copy and paste it straight from the server. All right, time to see what Firebug has to tell me. Hmm. Well, I know this is jQuery is on alert. Hmm. Ah, okay. Duh. I know what it was. So, do you guys know why this didn't work? Because silly me is looking at my actual web version of it over here when I said why isn't it working instead of looking at my local version and obviously I didn't upload anything yet so that's why it's not working so let me just upload this I'll upload this whole folder over here and that should solve my problem so an important point over here uh, I went into looking at my code as if somehow my code was was wrong, but I just copied and pasted it straight from the jQuery website. So it, uh, I'm assuming it's right. Let's see now if I refresh the the remote version. There we go. 